Uh, hello guys and welcome to another review video in forever. Um, sorry that these uploads are a little bit late. I know I said that I would upload them yesterday, but, um, I was at work a lot later than I thought I would be, so sorry about that. But, um, so I'm gonna try to get all of them, if not all of them, then most of them up today. As many as I can record right now. And, um, so yeah, I'm gonna be reviewing the Stranger Things 8-bit, um, Funko Pop figures that just came out, the Target exclusive ones. Um, I got the whole set except for the Chase Demogorgon, so I'll be reviewing all of them. And I start, I thought I'd start off with 11. So, um, as always, I'll show you guys the box. So there's the box. And I'll point out a few things. Um, it says Pop 8-Bit, so I'm assuming that that's just going to be what they're calling this new line, because I know that they have other 8-Bit figures as well, not just the Stranger Things ones. And then you have the Target exclusive sticker, and all of the lettering on the box is also pixelated, which I thought was pretty cool. So there's the cover art. There's the top, and I'll uh, get her out of the box. Okay, so here she is out of the box. Um, these are relatively heavier than the normal pop figures because instead of the head being hollow like pop figure heads usually are, um, the ones in the 8-bit line are completely solid. The head and the body is completely solid. So they are a little bit heavier um, than the regular pop figures. So I just wanted to point that out, which means they stand a lot better. So they don't need to stand or anything because they stand great on their own. So here she is. They even did the ears. And of course, they put the Eggo Waffle in her hand, which is also pixelated. So there's that. We've got her socks, the dress, pretty much everything. And I already love the look of these look of these. Like I still stand by my opinion that this is probably one of Funko's best ideas. Especially with um Stranger Things because it takes place in the eighties. So to make it uh the pop figures eight bit like an eighties video game is like brilliant. So I thought that, that was really cool. We've even got her nosebleed. So, yeah. Um, that's about it. I don't really know what else to say. Um, it looks really, really cool. It almost reminds me of Minecraft a little bit, too. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool. I definitely like this a lot. This has to be, like, one of my favorite, um, ideas from Funko, because I just think that this is so cool. And I am uh, super excited that I got the whole set, too, because I was not expecting to get that lucky. Because I'm usually never that lucky with pop figures. <laughs> so I was, like, pretty happy about that. So, um, anyways, um, there's that. Uh, um, that was the first one. Stay tuned for the others. I'll be doing reviews on the others after this and uploading those as well. So um, there's that. And as usual, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.